Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and Samsung just finished the Samsung One UI 5 watch beta program with Wear OS 4. Now I've been on the Watch 5 beta program ever since the beginning of June. I think it was June 7th and now they have completely finished it. We have sitting right here the official software version. So this way we'd be able to update this watch over here which is currently in beta to the official software version of BWH3. It basically just states thank you for giving feedback, thank you for participating, and then also letting us know that we're not going to get any more beta software updates. We're not going back to the beta version. You can't read any details about the beta program just because it's fully complete. And so then down over here, a little bit more of the information is this size of a update is 102 megabytes. Again, it's coming with that J uh, July 1st security patch. And it also again ends with BWH3. Now, before we go through and update the watch, which really that's gonna be at the end of the video, because once I'm going through and updating it, that's the end of the video. The program is all finished. Some of the cool things that they added in with One UI 5 on the watch is beforehand on your watch, it actually looked like this. When you're going through some of the different categories of informative and classic and health and all those things, you would have to scroll over to find other watches. And what they did was with the watch itself, when you press and held, let's say that you moved on over and you wanted to add in a new watch face, they made everything vertical, which made it much, much easier. So this way you still have all of the different categories, but they were all listed vertically, which was a little bit easier to actually navigate. And also too, they brought in a bunch of brand new watch faces as well, especially the ones that are on the Galaxy Watch 6, which a lot of people love those. So as you actually scroll on through, especially for graphical, Scrolling over, you got that fluid number, you have funny faces, you have photo sticker. So those ones were actually on the Galaxy Watch 6. When you scrolled on down, and let's say you took a look at Classic, you'll also be able to take a look at some of these ones here as well. Perpetual is pretty fun. Stretch Time is the one that I'm using currently. That was my favorite watch, especially on the Galaxy Watch 6. And then there was also a few new features that you're able to do uh, inside of here, inside of the, the watch settings. You can also take a look at all of the different tiles that was updated and changed and also added in. Uh, and pretty much the tiles is also set up the same way with everything being vertically as well. So let's say that we moved all the way over into the very end. You go to add tiles. Everything here again is going to be vertical, which will make things quite a bit easier rather than trying to swipe left and right. Now, another thing that they added in that I do appreciate is when you go inside of the watch settings and then you scroll down, you take a look at accounts and backup. So you do actually have backup that is a part of your Samsung account storage. So when your watch is connected to your phone, Smart Switch automatically backs up your watch data and files to your phone periodically. If you uninstall Smart Switch, backups saved on your phone will be deleted. But it's pretty nice that you do have this feature here that it's saved via uh, Samsung Smart Switch with your Samsung account storage. Now, if you'd like to learn more about everything that is brand new with this watch, I'll be placing some links below the video inside the description. It's gonna show you the very first beta whenever it first came out, me showing you every single thing that's different when it was actually more fresh in my mind on every single thing that has changed. And I'll place a few of the other videos too if those ones have anything that is in respect of anything that's brand new in terms of features and changes and updates. But yeah, here we go, we are now completely finished with Samsung One UI 5 beta watch. It's finished. And so now my guess is that most watches will have this update being pushed out fairly soon. Don't know when it's gonna come out. All I know is that the first ones to get this update here are those that were part of the beta program. So now that it's done, now that it's actually being installed on actual watches, I would assume it would be coming out within the next week or two, making sure everything is looking good. So with that said, make sure you guys are looking for a software update for either your Galaxy Watch 5, Watch 5 Pro, or any watch before that. Basically anything other than the Galaxy Watch 6 and Watch 6 Classic, because you will be getting this official software version update that is giving you Wear OS 4 with Samsung One UI 5 watch. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.